morning, everyone. We'll allow just a couple more minutes to allow people to come in. Then we'll get started. Good morning, everyone. We'll allow just another minute for people to get logged in. Okay, the time now being 9.02, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Welcome to this public hearing for docket 16-0310-2101, Medicaid Enhanced Plan Benefits, and docket 16-0313-2101, Consumer Directed Services. This presentation is being recorded. If you do not consent to recording, please log off. Okay, we'll do introductions. Uh, my name is William Desrone. I'm the Medicaid Policy Program Manager and the facilitator. And Charles, if you want to introduce yourself. Uh, Charles Beal, uh, Medicaid Policy Director. Uh, Cindy Brock. Good morning, Cindy Brock, Idaho Medicaid Policy Team. Kayla. Kayla may have stepped away for a second. Uh, Jennifer Pinkerton. Hi, Jennifer Pinkerton, Medicaid Program Policy Analyst. Uh, Danae. Hi, Danae Gailey, um, Policy Analyst with Medicaid. Andrea Hatch. Hi, Andrea Hatch. I'm a Medicaid uh, policy analyst. And Angie Hollick. Angie may have stepped away for a moment too. Um, for our uh, attendee, uh, Kayla Gable, if you could um, introduce your, state your name and uh, your address or email address, any organization you're representing and your intent to comment, please. Thank you for putting that in the chat.
Uh, not, a, not a problem. Uh, chat's fine. Uh, so for the uh, hearing WebEx attendees will be muted until after the presentation, and then we will provide an opportunity for verbal comment. Uh, if you intend to provide verbal comment, uh, you can raise your hand using the option located in the middle bottom of your screen uh, as depicted on the slide. Uh, you will be unmuted when it is your turn to comment. Uh, it doesn't look like we have anybody joining on the phone today. So I will begin by uh, reading the introductory uh, statements for the public hearing. Let the record show that I am William Desrone, designated as the facilitator for this public hearing by the Administrator for the Division of Medicaid in the Department of Health and Welfare. It is 9 o'clock a.m. on Wednesday, October 18th, 2023. This is the time set to receive oral and written comments as provided for in Section 67-5222, Idaho Code, for the proposed rulemaking under IDAPA 160310, Medicaid Enhanced Plan Benefits, found in docket number 16-0310-2101, and IDAPA 160313, Consumer Directed Services, found in docket number 16-0313-2101. The purpose of this proceeding is to hear facts, views, and arguments from all interested persons relative to the proposed rules so that they may receive consideration by the Department of Health and Welfare. The department will also accept written statements if relevant and provide with the name of the person presenting them. The materials will be included as exhibits in the record for this hearing, which will be submitted to the administrative rules unit following the close of this hearing. Written comments can be sent to mcpt at dhw.idaho.gov. Please note the docket number in the subject line for your, your comment, whether that's for 16-0310-2101 or 16-0313-2101. Let the record show that the notice of this hearing was published in the Idaho Administrative Bulletin on Wednesday, October 4th, 2023, as required by Section 67-5221, Idaho Code. This publication was timely made and other necessary notice requirements have been met. This public hearing is an informal proceeding. There is no right to cross-examine a person offering comments, nor is there a right to counsel or subpoena. No objections or procedures of a technically legal nature will be accepted. As the facilitator, I am the sole regulator of the course of the presentations included, but not limited to a determination that the comments are outside the scope of the rule or that comments are unduly repetitious. I am not here to answer questions or to explain any part of the proposed rules. If you have questions or concerns regarding this rulemaking, please contact me at 208-859-0046. All those interested persons virtually attending this proceeding are asked to check in or otherwise acknowledge their attendance by stating their name with spelling, indicating a desire if any to make an oral presentation. You can also do that in the chat box. After a brief statement made by the Department of Health and Welfare summarizing the information upon which the proposed action is based, each person will be given an opportunity to speak at least once prior to any person being heard a second time. At this time, the Department of Health and Welfare statement will be read into the record, followed by an opportunity for oral comments. These rule changes will decrease regulatory burdens, make technical corrections, implement operations for the end of the public health emergency, update rules to comply with the KW settlement, and align with federal regulations regarding conflict of interest. This concludes the department statement. Next, I will call upon persons who have indicated a desire to comment. Since these proceedings are being recorded, I ask that those who wish to provide oral comments speak clearly and provide your name, spelling your surname prior to beginning your comments. So if you would desire to comment, please raise your hand. Uh, Ms. Cable, if you'd like to put your any comment you have in the chat box, you're more than welcome to. As I understand, you're having issues with your mic and it will be entered into the record.
question. All right, seeing no uh, hands raised or comments made, uh, we're going to adjourn until 9.30. Uh, at 9.30, we'll resume just to give uh, anybody a chance who's running late to um, join us. And uh, we'll pick up on taking comments at 9.30 a.m. Thank you.
Time is now 9.30 a.m. Recess is adjourned. Uh, if anyone would like to comment, please indicate so in the chat or by raising your hand on WebEx. The raise hand button is in the bottom middle of your screen as indicated on the picture in the presentation. Seeing no indication that anyone would like to comment, this public hearing started at 9 o'clock a.m. and is now closed. The time is 9.30 a.m. The record of this hearing and any oral comments presented with any written comments submitted will be transmitted to the Department's Administrative Rules Unit. Anyone may submit further written comments to IDHW Administrative Rules Unit, 10th floor, P.O. Box 83720, Boise, Idaho, 83720-0036 or emailing dhwrules at dhw.idaho.gov. All written comments must be received by October 25th, 2023. Uh, you can also uh, comment by emailing mcpt at dhw.idaho.gov. Please indicate docket 16-03-10-2101 or docket 1603-13-2101 in the subject line. Uh, you can also contact us by phone at 208-859-0046. The following materials for this public hearing and for upcoming meetings will be posted to the department's negotiated rulemaking library. That can be found in the Medicaid folder under 2023, docket 16-0310-2101, Medicaid Enhanced Plan Benefits folder, or folder 2023-docket 16-0313-2101, Consumer Directed Services. Uh, the meeting agenda, comment and response document, presentations and published docket will be uploaded to that link. Thank you everyone and have a pleasant day. Good afternoon, everyone. The time now being 2.02. .02. We're going to go ahead and get started. Welcome to the public hearing for docket 16-0310-2101, Medicaid Enhanced Plan Benefits, and docket 16-0313-2101, Consumer Directed Services. This presentation is being recorded. If you do not consent to being recorded, please log off now. My name is William Desrone. I'm the Medicaid Policy Program Manager. Uh, if we could have the uh, team introduce themselves, starting with Charles. Charles Beal, uh, Idaho Medicaid Policy Director. And David Bell. This is David Bell. I'm the Deputy Administrator for Policy and Innovation, uh, and I'm calling in today. Cindy Brock. Cindy Brock, um, Medic Medicaid Program Policy Analyst. Jennifer Pinkerton. Uh, Jennifer Pinkerton, Medicaid Program Policy Analyst. Danae Gailey. Danae Gailey, Medicaid Policy Analyst. Kayla Galagos. Hi, Kayla Galagos, um, Idaho Medicaid Policy Analyst. Andrea Hatch. Andrea Hatch, Medicaid Policy Analyst. Angie Hollick. Angie Hollick, Idaho Medicaid Policy Analyst. WebEx attendees will be muted. After the presentation, we will provide an opportunity to provide verbal public comment. 
If you intend to provide verbal comment, you may indicate that by using the raise hand option located at the center bottom of your screen. For those joining by phone, we will provide an opportunity to provide comment after the WebEx comments. I will now read the introductory statement for the hearing. Let the record show that I am William Desrone, designated as the facilitator for this public hearing by the Administrator for the Division of Medicaid in the Department of Health and Welfare. It is 2 o'clock p.m. on Wednesday, October 18th, 2023. This is the time set to receive oral and written comments as provided for in Section 67-5222, Idaho Code, for the proposed rulemaking under IDAPA 160310, Medicaid Enhanced Plan Benefits, found in docket number 16-0310-2101 and IDAPA 160313, Consumer Directed Services, found in docket number 16-0313-2101. The purpose of this proceeding is to hear facts, views, and arguments from all interested persons relative to the proposed rules so that they may receive consideration by the Department of Health and Welfare. The department will also accept written statements if relevant and provided with the name of the person presenting them. The materials will be included as exhibits in the record for this hearing, which will be submitted to the Administrative Rules Unit following the close of this hearing. Written comments can be sent to mcpt at dhw.idaho.gov. Please note the docket number in the subject line, 16-0310-2101 or 16-0313-2101. Let the record show that the notice of this hearing was published in the Idaho Administrative Bulletin on Wednesday, October 4th, 2023 as required by Section 67-5221 Idaho Code. This publication was timely made and other necessary notice requirements have been met. This public hearing is an informal proceeding. There is no right to cross-examine a person offering comments, nor is there a right to counsel or subpoena. No objections or procedures of a technically legal nature will be accepted. As the facilitator, I am the sole regulator of the course of the presentations, including but not limited to a determination that the comments are outside the scope of the rule or that comments are unduly repetitious. I am not here to answer questions or to explain any part of the proposed rules. If you have questions or concerns regarding this rulemaking, please contact me at 208-859-0046. All those interested persons virtually attending this proceeding are asked to check in or otherwise acknowledge their attendance by stating their name with spelling, indicating a desire, if any, to make an oral presentation in the comments section of the WebEx. After a brief statement made by the Department of Health and Welfare summarizing the information upon which the proposed action is based, each person will be given an opportunity to speak at least once prior to any person being heard a second time. At this time, the Department of Health and Welfare statement will be read into the record, followed by an opportunity for oral comments. These rules, these rule changes will decrease regulatory burdens, make technical corrections, implement operations for the end of the public health emergency, update rules to comply with the KW settlement and align with federal regulations regarding conflict of interest. This concludes the department statement. Next, I will call upon those persons who have indicated a desire to comment. Since these proceedings are being recorded, I ask that those who wish to provide oral comments speak clearly and provide your name, spelling your surname, and pr prior to beginning your comments. Seeing that no one has elected to make a comment, we will adjourn until 2.30 p.m. to allow others to join the hearing, and we will resume taking public comments at 2.30 p.m. We are now in recess.
Time is now 2.30. We will resume the public hearing. Does anyone wish to comment? Please press the raise hand button at the middle bottom of the screen if you do. Seeing no one stating a desire to comment, this public hearing started at 2 o'clock p.m. and is now closed. The time is 2.30 p.m. The record of this hearing and any oral comments presented with any written comments submitted will be transmitted to the department's administrative rules unit. Anyone may submit further written comments to IDHW, administrative rules unit, 10th floor, PO Box 83720, Boise, Idaho 83720-0036 or by email to dhwrules at dhw.idaho.gov. All written comments must be received by October 25th, 2023. The comments can also be emailed to mcpt at dhw.idaho.gov. Please indicate docket on the subject line, and that's docket 16-0310-2101 or docket 16-0313-2101. You can also make comments by phone at 208-859-0046. The meeting agenda, agenda, comment and response document, presentations and published docket will be posted for this public hearing and for upcoming meetings at the department's negotiated rulemaking library. That's uh, in the Medicaid folder under 2023, docket 16-0310-2101, Medicaid Enhanced Plan Benefits, or folder 2023, docket 16-0313-2101, Consumer Directed Services. This public hearing is now adjourned. <laughs>